My dear Stephanie, I'm filled with lots of emotions as I write this letter. Of course, I'm happy, excited, overjoyed, but there's also some antsiness to finally finish what we've been waiting two years for. I say antsy because I'm not nervous. I know that this is the right time, and more importantly, I know that you are the right person. We've talked a lot about how we balance each other out. I really feel like together we can do anything, both professionally and personally. I feel like we can talk about anything, that we can overcome anything, and that we can conquer any goal. And it's how I know you'll be a great wife, a fantastic mother, whether that be to children or to our Christmas puppies. I could never ask for a better partner, a better person, a better friend, and a better wife. I would not be where I am today without you. You're all I could ever ask for, and I can't wait to spend forever together. Love, Keith. I will love your family as if they were my own, and will cherish the many memories we make together. I promise to keep my hanger in check, and to let you tickle me at least once a day. We both know it will be more. I promise to try new experiences on our journey, as long as they don't involve bugs. I promise to hold your hand every chance I get, and to always defend you to others. Father, when you created mankind, you willed that man and wife should be one. Find Keith and Stephanie in the loving union of marriage, and make their love fruitful, so that they may be living witnesses to your divine love in the world. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. For Stephanie and Keith, I wish you the best of love and grow together of all the years and wonderful times that you had together and good times and bad. Remember the two of you love each other very, very much and the love that you share. And I've seen you two grow over the years. It's been remarkable for a young couple. And I want you to know that in good times and bad, remember how much you two love each other and you two can accomplish anything you want if you just remember the little engine that could. You're a son to us. And Stephanie, you will always be our daughter. Thank you to the Burke family and welcome for joining us and we thank you, each and every one of you for coming here tonight. So apart from Harry Potter and Adam West, Stephanie and I didn't see eye to eye on a lot of things of uh, like pop culture and everything and I could never convince her to try some different shows or watch sports or do some activities. But in the end, where I failed in getting Stephanie to try new things, Keith has succeeded, the, succeeded. And because of this and many other things, it's clear how well they fit together and balance each other out. And I couldn't be happier for the two of you. So congratulations to you both. And I hope your wedding and the rest of your lives are better than Maureen Ponderosa's. about love is that when it's real it is real and when you know you know and to never settle for anything less than real this night will end and we will all go home but for you two this is forever and i think you guys have the better end of this deal tonight thank you We're all here to celebrate the marriage of Kevin Berkey and Stephanie Travers today. 
when I met Keith through a mutual friend, he was living in a 1700s log cabin, which about matches his 82-year-old personality of get off my lawn. There's an old Confucius saying about swat not at the bee that stings you, but hold in high regard the flowers he provides. Loosely translated, it means forget the pain in life and forever remember the happiness you brought. Marriage is a challenge, but the biggest part is remembering all the happiness that this union brings you to and make those memories every single day. So I'm gonna toss down a life lesson and I know there's some people in this crowd who are thinking, this kid's tossing down life lessons. I have a pair of glasses on my nightstand, been around longer than this kid. But, but, it's my wedding so you will listen. <laughs> The life lesson is you're never too old to, to do what you want to do and you just have to work for it and eventually you'll get there and uh, I feel that way about you know everything with life and it's, it's really proven that way with Stephanie and with my career and you just have to be ambitious and work for it and, and you'll get it.